Hello guys, welcome back to Vlogmas. So I recorded a few videos and shots actually before December. So today is November something. And I did this just so that um, the beginning of December, me and Taylor are doing finals. And so that'll be a crazy time, but we still wanted to do Vlogmas. So I just pre-recorded some stuff. Um, I wanted to show you guys the new sweatshirts that we have on Coffee and Bible Time. I'm hoping that by the time you see this video, these will be up. I think they will. Actually, I know they will. Um, but, the tag off. So, this is a medium, and I like, I got a medium because I like them to be a little bit bigger, but it's literally just a black sweatshirt. I love, like, just the design of it right there. And, yeah, so, I'll put it on. I'm gonna be wearing this today because it's freezing here and this inside is so soft. So it's just really soft and yeah, I like rolling up the sleeves a little bit. Coffee and Bible time. So if you would like to support us and just represent Coffee and Bible time, these are on the website. So today what I'm doing is actually I have school, a lot of school work to do. But also, um, my room is a disaster because I just moved out of college, as you saw from the last vlog. So, let me show you what's going on in here. A lot. I actually started kind of fixing up my closet a little bit. Um, but, like, this pile of clothes is just way too massive. And I also need to set my bed. And this I have a donate pile started and a trash pile. And then I also just did all this laundry that I need to fold. So we are back in here and I'm gonna set up the camera and do a little speed of me folding. While I fold, I like to, also folding is definitely my favorite laundry or my favorite chore. I mean, doing laundry, I don't know what I'm saying. Laundry is my favorite chore. What is your guys' favorite chore? I'd love to hear. Right now I'm listening to podcasts on Psalm 119. They're amazing. By this amazing theologian from a seminary in California. So I'm going to be listening to this while I do some laundry.
oh my goodness you guys it has been a crazy morning we had a coffee and bible time meeting for hours we're getting prepared for thanksgiving for christmas for a lot of things and i was just promoting the um new pencil pouches so again guys these are available on coffee and bible time they fit so much stuff in it here i'll open it for you um, they fit so much in here. Like, I have washi tape in here. I have chapstick. I have tons of here. Let me get them out. Of pens and just yeah, so much stuff. And my favorite part is that it matches the tote bag. So I keep my Bible in here. I go to Bible study and everything with all this stuff. So yeah, was just working on promoting that stuff. And now I am going to tackle some of this and hopefully I will start to donate some things and get rid of things. But yeah, I'm going to put that in my closet and just continue along with the organization process. Hey guys, so yesterday I made some really good progress in my room. As you can see, that whole clothes pile is gone. I was able to clear some more things off my desk. And most importantly, I did two loads of laundry and just got my closet really a lot more cleaned. Um, I'll step back. So I filled in all the drawers with like all my college clothes. And then I hung up all my clothes in here. Put my pants there. Just got things organized up here and bins and everything like that. So... Yeah, I got it really cleaned. Oh, and then I put my shoe rack over here, which if you guys are have your shoes all over your closet and or just don't know how to organize them, I would really suggest one of these. I got this off of Amazon. I'll link it in the description. Those are lights for filming. So yeah, it's just like a lot more organized and that makes me happy. What do you guys think of these pants? They're Christmas pants. So I'm currently in my mom's bathroom right now. I sometimes get ready in here because she has a nice little stool that I can sit on. But I'm getting ready for a little photo shoot with the new Coffee and Bible Time sweatshirts. So by the time you watch this, they'll definitely be on the website. You can go check those out. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to get ready. And she's going to take a few shots of me just so we have some good pictures of it on the website and for Instagram to promote and things like that. So, yeah. A French gendarme at Telephone. Uh, please help, you know what I mean? But my French was so poor, he, he just... Currently listening to the Coffee and Bible Time podcast. My mom runs the podcast. Um, the episode that I'm watching right now is Season 3, Episode 37, near-death experience she interviews this amazing guy who shares his testimony on how he literally was this close to death's door and yeah so i'm listening to it um i really would suggest you too it's like such a powerful story panicked and ran back to the ocean jumped in the boat and began um, growing this pole out to the other divers who were i look around I thought, what the heck was that then I ran the thought, close your eyes, you'll never wake again. Well, that's death. What are you doing? This isn't sleep, this is certain death. <laughs> Thirty thousand sheep up in the, in the in the Alps. So I'm I understand sheep in here, but I had no idea that the Lord could speak so audibly like this. <laughs> Trying to save them, rescue them. Here he is talking to me, a complete atheist, trying to save my life. Uh, I, I fought the tiredness. Uh, I realized that I had not heard that voice, I'd have died there. And again, no one there. We still have our. Okay, wow, this podcast is amazing. 
I just finished my makeup and it looks like this. If you want to use any of the products that I used, I'll have them linked in the description. Um, so I'm going to go get on the Coffee and Bible Time shirt. My mom has a meeting in like 20 minutes, so I need to get ready fast and have her take these pictures. So this is what the filming space looks like right now. And look at my bed. I've got all the stuff for the Christmas gift guide that I'm about to film. It should be up on Coffee and Bible Time by the time you watch this. But yeah, I'm just going to get those things organized on my desk. I put up these Christmas lights, which are so cute. And yeah, so I'm just going to be filming. Hello, guys. So a lot of you always ask how I make these homemade soups. They're very healthy. They're very flavorful. And mom, you like them, right? Yes. So me, my mom, and my sister, we all eat like really, really healthy. But my dad and my brother, they're not like the healthiest eaters and they still love these soups and they're filled with veggies, just filled with yummy, amazing goodness. So I will show you what I do. I always start off my soups. Also, I never really do recipes. Um, I kind of just do whatever I want, but that's just how I am. Like, if you want to follow a recipe, do it. But I always start off my soups with chopped onion. And so I just chop it up and then I love having a big pan like this to do soups in. I'll link some in the description. I just put a little bit of oil on the bottom of the pan and now I'm gonna put in the onion. Okay, so I just did that and I'm gonna grab a little stir. Just mix it in. So yeah, so that's gonna start cooking while I chop the rest. I'm putting this on low. And then honestly, any veggies we have in the fridge, I will use. Also, my mom is planning for Thanksgiving right now. Um, but in the fridge, I saw that we have carrots, we have broccoli, we have more onion and um, what's this called? Why can't I ever think of the names? Pepper. And I think we had another pepper in here as well, I think. So I saw, we kind of are down to some random. Yep, a red pepper, which I would love to use. So I'm just gonna cut up the rest of these veggies and then throw them in. Okay, so after the onions, I do a base layer of veggies. And in today's soup, we had broccoli in the fridge, we had carrots, we had peppers. So that's gonna be my base. I always want to add a starch to my soup, whether that's um, pasta or rice or potatoes. So today we're gonna do some sweet potatoes. Um, I know these are pretty big. So I might do one and a half. But before I cut them, I am going to put them in the microwave for a little jab, a few holes on it, put in the microwave just so that it's not as hard to cut. And then I will cut these for the soup. Okay. <laughs> So now I'm going to add some garlic into the soup. I usually add garlic a little later on because it can tend to stick to the bottom um, of the pan. So yeah, I don't, I didn't want that to happen early on. I like the way garlic gives it a nice like strong garlicky flavor. So 
So we have this bag of chicken breasts from Aldi, I believe. Is this from Aldi? Mm -hmm. And so I just defrosted two in the microwave. And sometimes I choose to keep my soups vegan, meat free, dairy free. But sometimes I do like to add in meat. I know my dad and my brother really like it when there's meat in there. So I'm going to add some chicken in there. And just make sure that you have the meat fully cooked before you put it into the soup. So you can just cook it in a little frying pan to the side and then add it to your soup. I'm going to add in some spices. I'll do more spices later, but I want to start off with some. I love using Mrs. Dash. I'll try to link these in the description. They don't have salt in them, but they're have an amazing flavor and I'm going to add in some let's see what we have here I'm just gonna set out a few things that I might want to put in later this is garlic so this is doing a great job cooking I just put in a bunch of spices now I'm gonna do some vegetable broth, some pumpkin, um, this is just pumpkin. So this is gonna be kind of like a pumpkin chicken chili, and then some chickpeas. So beans are always great to add to a soup. So I already opened those up. I'm just gonna drain just a little bit of that liquid out. This, since this is going to be kind of a chili, I'm adding in those beans. And then we're going to add in the pumpkin. Okay guys, so this is what today's soup is looking like. I want to let it sit and cook for a while, but I'm excited to try it after it cooks a little bit more. I'll probably end up adding more chicken broth to it later as well, but yeah, I'm really excited. Okay guys, the soup is half gone. Everybody loved it. It tastes amazing. I'm gonna pack it up and hide it in the fridge so I can have some tomorrow. What'd you think of it? Love. <laughs> My compliments to the chef. <laughs> My brother liked it too and he's a picky eater, so.